Hi there. Hi. It's Fatima here again. Welcome back. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time stopping by, you're welcome to the family. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and drop a comment before you leave. Grab your chair, grab your notepad because today I'll be a relationship coach. Yes. After my previous video, I got um, some texts and phone calls, you know, asking me, oh, Tima, what's next after I break up? And I thought to myself, oh, I've actually become a relationship coach. Wow, that's great. I need to start showing my skills, you know. So I decided to do this video. So welcome to Tima's coaching session. Yeah, please grab each other. All right. So today, I know you all have a problem which is moving on after a breakup. So, I'll be giving you guys tips on how to move on after a breakup. Please, bear with this bare face today. I, I ran out of foundation. I could not miss today's class because I don't have foundation. So, you guys have to bear with this face. And it's actually a great opportunity for you to see my natural face. Also bear with this voice, it's as a result of my cold. And I have in this mug here, ginger tea. I had a cold a few days ago and I've been drinking this to help with my old system. Before I go on, I would love you to click on the subscribe button and the like button. And also, if you have anything to share based on what to do after I break up, just drop it in the comment section. So, are you guys ready? Yes, you are. After I broke up with my boyfriend, I was so devastated. Ah, oh, God. Why? How will I live my life? Because all through the relationship, my life kind of like revolved around him. So, it felt like without him, I could not leave and I was nothing without him. I was so used to waking up to a text or waking up to missed calls from my boyfriend and all of that. So after the breakup, it took me a while to adjust to waking up without seeing a text or without seeing missed calls and all. So I found myself, you know, going back to my chat history with him, you know, checking our pictures and all of that. Ah! It was such a painful process <laughs> but the first thing i did was just to accept that the relationship was over so first point accept that the relationship is over so after i break up ac accept that the relationship is over and move on you need to wake up accept that he has broken up with you so you can move on you know just accept that the relationship is over it makes your process so so easy move on with your life like you don't have to start lingering around your past you know going back to the past thinking of what you could have done better or whatever just move on with your life another thing i did was you know i deleted his number because i realized that i kept on going back to my call history my chats with him i deleted his number I deleted our chat history my call history everything pictures unfollowed him everywhere did everything possible because I don't want to find myself stalking trying to see if he has moved on if he has a new girlfriend if I was fairy what he's doing oh, it is too stressful and you will just be stuck moving around in circles and circles and you're hurting yourself yes so delete 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 or follow delete delete everything trash it all you know delete Did you get that point? All right, good. <sighs> oh, it feels so good to know that you can actually talk about your, your past relationship without having any emotional breakdown. Mm. So, another thing you should do after a breakup is to explore, have fun, enjoy yourself. If you, have, if you can afford a vacation, go on a vacation because it's a great opportunity to have a new life you know meet new people and have fun just explore before i broke up with my ex i was not allowed to go out 
very often or go to parties or go to the club or or you know just hang out with my friends unnecessarily I, I was not allowed to and I'm an extrovert I love going out I love hanging out with friends I love I just love going out I cannot sit at home and not do anything so after the breakup I just realized that you know what let me just start going out like why well, I've wasted so much time just trying to be who I'm not just to please someone man shit. I started going out I met new people I made new friends just explore it's a great time for you to like start doing new things and just keep your mind occupied so just uncover your passion yeah it's very important whatever you have passion for start doing it because you're now single so you have a lot of time to yourself to try out new things gosh enjoy your single life my darling i would not want you to do rebound nah it doesn't really end well you might have regrets afterwards so it's better to keep off or stay off you know relationships there are some people it works for them after i break up they move on pretty fast you know within a month they're already, they're already in another relationship but i see i actually take my time i remember after after my breakup i told myself i was going to use this time to like discover myself which i did you know i used that period to love myself more okay because you can't give out the love you don't have so that period was just a period for me to discover myself to love myself more and care more for myself so I, I i i just don't jump into another relationship like that i take my time to understand the lessons i learned from my previous relationship so i don't make such mistakes again in and in my next relationship because for every relationship or for every breakup there's always a lesson to learn so just sit down analyze think on the mistakes you made what you can do so it won't repeat itself you know that is the process the period after your breakup is not meant for you to just you know do rebounds or you know jump into another relationship and you know pretend to yourself that you've moved on while deep down you have not moved on like you're still hurting deep down if you search your heart well you're still hurting and you just feel when you meet another person or when you get into another relationship you're going to forget it it is a lie it is a lie you need to heal first before you move on so heal first go through the process it's gonna take a while it's gonna be painful especially when it's someone you love so much and you know you never for once imagine you guys would ever break up and all of that so but the truth is you need to grieve if you need to take time off work take time off work if you need to lock yourself up in the house and cry just do it it is part of the process grieve cry you know but the the main aim is just for you to heal so don't beat yourself up too much don't you know don't go on endless game of coulda woulda shoulda like oh i could have done this oh i should have done this oh i would have you know all those kind of things no don't beat yourself up but you need to go through that process before you move on to the next i remember after my breakup i took my time like i really took my time to heal and understand myself because I didn't want to make the mistakes I made in that relationship, in my next relationship. No, it's going to be like hitting myself on the same spots. I would not want to do that to myself. So, take your time. Go through the process of healing. Don't do rebounds. It is not advisable. It hurts at the end of the day, so don't do rebounds. Did you take that down? Great. So, another thing you need to do is meditate. So I remember then after my breakup, I noticed I used to lose focus easily and it was beginning to be a problem. So I started meditating. You know, just take about five to 10 minutes daily to meditate. It helps like train your mind to focus and you know, concentrate your thoughts and all of that. So meditate daily if possible. Another thing you can do is to, you know, maybe talk to someone if you can. If you want to talk to someone, go ahead. You can't just bottle up everything. You're going to blow someday. So, 
you need to let it all out if you have any trusted friend you can talk to or any trusted family member you can talk to just relieve yourself of that pain and just say everything out did you note that down as well great ah i hope you guys are enjoying this video if yes click on the subscribe button and like the video great now that you've done that i will continue so i remember after my breakup then as well months after i found myself still talking about my ex everywhere i go everybody knew my ex-boyfriend then because i still used to talk about him everywhere i go oh and my ex used to do this for me but at that point i knew i'd not moved on I, in my heart of heart, I knew I had not moved on because I didn't even see myself in another relationship yet. I still find myself talking about him, referring to the past. Oh, if I was still with Mr. A, I wouldn't have to do this, or I, this wouldn't have to happen, or I would have done this this way, or I would have done this this way, or this. So I found myself, I found myself referring back to this guy. Like my life revolved around this guy so much that. I just could not move on. I was just going around in circles and I didn't see myself in another relationship. So the earlier you accept that this relationship is over, the better for you. You need to accept the truth and the fact that the relationship has ended. So it helps you to move on. All right, guys. So that'll be all for today. Thank you all for staying tuned. Thank you all for watching to the end of the video. I'm sure by now you've learned a few things. I will see you all in my next session. Come prepared. If you didn't bring your notepad this time around, don't forget to bring your notepad the next time you're coming, okay? Yes, yes, yes. So if there's anything you need me to talk about, drop it in the comment section. I will make sure I touch everything. Great. And if you're yet to subscribe, click on the subscribe button now.